today I'm in a forest where just a few years ago wild elephants would have roamed. Every day here in Sumatra whole ecosystems, rich communities of plants and animals are being destroyed forever. And why? To make way for more palm. What we see now is totally palm plantation. They burn the land, they're chopping down the trees, they change the trees with palm plantations. You know, the landscape is very steep slope. It should not, it should not be palm plantation here. From the air, it looks like a green carpet, but there is absolutely zero comparison between an oil palm plantation and a natural rainforest. The biodiversity in an oil palm plantation is minuscule compared to a tropical rainforest. People are increasingly realizing the realities behind palm oil. What many people still don't realize though is that palm kernel, one of the byproducts, is a common ingredient in animal feed to feed to cattle and to pigs. So this knobbly fellow, all covered in ants, is what it's all about. This is the palm fruit that's so desperately sought after that palm trees are being papered across this landscape like wallpaper. As the ancient forest is cut down, iconic animals such as the tiger, the rhinoceros, the orangutan and the elephant no longer have a home and as a result their numbers are declining at an alarming rate. Sumatran palm can now be added to the list of environmentally damaging industrial animal feeds. My fear is that palm kernel helps to drive more factory farming and in turn more factory farming drives more production of palm kernel. It's a vicious circle. Next time you buy beef, milk or pork, ask yourself, has this been raised on the ashes of Sumatra's once proud forests?